Thank you, Susan, for the introduction. It's my pleasure and honor to present the word fastest laser for eye surgery today. Here are the technologies which changed our laser cataract surgery over the recent years. Femtosecond laser uh, happened to perform the first Victus femtosecond laser assisted cataract surgery in Europe back in 2012. And it was not really easy that time because femtosecond laser really slowed us down at the beginning. But we fine tuned all the details and today we are faster than ever. We typically schedule 35 eyes for femtosecond laser assisted cataract surgery a day and we happen to perform as many as 94 in one day by one surgeon and we have a resident performing the laser part and I'm performing the intraocular part. Then we took the challenge to develop capsule laser with a Californian startup company with David Mordon. And capsule laser is totally different to femtosecond laser. Unlike femtosecond lasers, it's compact, cost-effective. It's mounted underneath of your operating microscope. And it does not affect uh, the patient, usual patient flow during the cataract surgery. The original capsule laser uh, performed capsule, capsulotomy in uh, three seconds. Uh, then we took it down to one, and today we perform capsulotomy in 0.3 seconds. So this is a very fast and reliable way how to perform circular uh, laser, a standard uh, size uh, circular capsulotomy uh, in routine uh, clinical uh, settings. Uh, we finished the CMARC study and we have had clinical experience over 1,000 eyes. The most exciting technology in laser cataract surgery uh, from recent days is Coronova Femtomatrix uh, laser, which is the fastest laser for uh, cataract surgery and laser eye surgery today. And uh, how do they achieve in Coronova such an incredible speed? Uh, just by multiplying the laser beam by a face mask. So out of one beam, they uh, get six or even more beams, so obviously they are faster. You might think that with six beams they are going to be six times faster. Actually they are even much more faster, which I'm going to explain a little bit later on. So this is a dynamic face uh, mask which uh, multiplies the laser beam, and then you get uh, typically uh, six beams which cut faster, and this laser is capable to fragment the human lens into 20,000 spore cubes in less than 20 seconds, which is an incredible speed. So let's have a look at the world first uh, human lens fragmented uh, by this uh, laser at our clinic, and we have a video demonstrating this surgery for you. So first is an animation, how robotic uh, arm is going to initiate uh, the surgery and then the laser beam has been multiplied by this dynamic face mask and you see how the six uh, laser spots cut uh, much faster compared to conventional femtosecond laser. Once again, uh, robotic arm and this is a real-time OCT which is going to demonstrate the real-time fragmentation into 20,000 small cubes of human lens and those cubes are uh, are fragmented in less than 20 seconds and then they are aspirated without the need for ultrasound. So you can easily phaco aspirate such a fragmented uh, lens without any need to use ultrasound. And this is going to become a standard, care to, uh, standard of care in cataract surgery over uh, some time. I'm quite, uh, quite convinced. So I think uh, this clearly demonstrates the capability of uh, this laser to cut the human lens. Once again, uh, instead of one line, we have six lines. And you might think uh, this is going to be six times faster, but those uh, six lines move forward, but to treat a certain area, you, and if this area consists of 12 lines, you have one line, then one turn, and second line, so three steps. Important is to remember that the curve, the U-turn, takes about the same time as the whole line. So now we have just three steps to perform uh, this surgery, unlike uh, the conventional femtosecond laser, which needs 23 steps to cover the same area. So typically, uh, the femtomatrix laser is uh, up to 20 times faster uh, than uh, the conventional femtosecond laser from six up to 20 times. So here are some clinical data uh, from our first surgeries, corrected distance visual acuity, and we have the refraction, uh, also the 
uh, keratometry, which was not really changed, and in terms of safety endothelial uh, density, which didn't change, and the IOP and other, uh, other measures. So femtosecond laser uh, cataract surgery, uh, I think it's a very promising way, which uh, has a great future in, uh, in the cataract surgery and some other application. The CMARC uh, is being initiated in Europe. And uh, what are the applications of this technology, which is up to 20 times faster? So obviously it's cataract surgery, incisions, capsulotomy and fragmentation, also refractive surgery. This technology is capable to perform a LASIK flap in about 0.5 seconds. So I think this is pretty much impressive. And also the corneal surgery, cardioplasty. So keep an, keep an eye on this technology. I think it has a great future and I'm really happy to be part of that and to perform the first in human surgery on this laser. Thank you so much.